Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Gen 2 hack. If you hadn't heard, on June 28th last month, Gen 2 or Gen 2, depending on how you pronounce it, had a breach of their GitHub software repository, where they store their source code and where people can update and get the latest version of Gen 2. Some unnamed attacker took control of their GitHub, removed all the developers, and started making some malicious changes. Now, the good news is they found out about this pretty quickly and recovered it. However, their source code repository was down for five days. But today's video isn't to talk about that old hack, rather to talk about what everyone can learn from it, because Gentoo did a very cool thing and released a very transparent debriefing talking about how the hack happened, what they learned from it, what they did right and wrong, and really how they got lucky in some cases. In short, it turns out the attacker got in due to a easily guessable password. Basically, the attacker figured out one administrator's password at one place, but that administrator used a similar but slightly different password at many different places, which was easy for this attacker to guess. So once he had that administrator's password, he could log on and have full control of Gentoo's GitHub, which means they also weren't using multi-factor or two-factor authentication which can sometimes save you from a lost password. In any case, uh, the blog posting Gentoo put up has a lot of other details about how the attack happened, some security mechanisms they had built in that, that uh, lessened some of the damage, uh, how they had good uh, friends in the security industry that helped them figure this out and, and recover from it quickly, and even some ways they got lucky, some ways that this attack could have been much worse. I highly uh, recommend you check out this very transparent debriefing because it's very interesting. It's something you can learn from to protect your organization organization from this kind of thing. However, my main takeaway for this particular story is passwords and multi-factor authentication. As seems to be often the case, many breaches are due to weak or stolen or lost passwords. We can have all the security controls we want. If some bad guy gets our administrative password, he can sail right past all of our security controls as a legitimate user. And that's why the only solution to this is multi-factor authentication, using not only a password, but other tokens of authentication as well, whether they be a fingerprint, a mobile phone, a soft token, whatever it would be, use more than just a password to authenticate the critical resources. By the way, WatchGuard has a product coming soon called AuthPoint. In fact, we have it in a beta right now. Uh, so you can look forward to that if you don't have two-factor authentication for your enterprise. Anyways, I thought it was a very interesting breach, mostly because it's rare for a company to so transparently share everything about how the breach happened, what they learned from it, and what they changed to make their security better. Uh, lots of kudos to Gentoo for actually releasing all this information. I'll be sure to post a link to their post as well as some news articles in the blog post associated with this security video. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.